Hi everyone, my name is Nova and today I'm going to talk to you guys about orbits and how to define them. Up on my screen right now I have a satellite in orbit and I'm using a plugin called the Orbit Tuner and I'm going to play around with various orbital parameters and just try to understand how they're defined, what they do, um, and just take a look at how we can play around with our orbit. This Orbit Tuner is a plugin and it's downloadable on the AGI website. So I opened this up, so I had it installed on my machine, and I used my menu bar to right click and then just show the Orbit Tuner. So it's actually just this single button over here. So when you click the button, it will actually insert in a satellite for you and then open up this panel and you can basically put it wherever you want. Let's quickly go over how to define an orbit just so that we understand this. We're going to be playing around with the Keplerian orbital elements. So there are two that will describe essentially the shape and size. That's going to be our semi-major axis and our eccentricity. There's going to be three that describe the orientation. Those variables are going to be the inclination, the ran or right ascension of ascending node, and the argument of perigee. And then finally, one to describe the location of the satellite is going to be true anomaly. Now, you can read this in a chart and you're like, okay, cool, I got these parameters. But in my opinion, to understand this, you sort of want to be able to visualize it and play around with it so that you actually know what it means when someone says, yeah, it's got a right ascension of whatever. So using the Orbit Tuner, I get to actually play around with these parameters. So orbits come in all shapes and sizes, and we can use these properties over here to define them. I am going to use the orbital elements, these little drag wheels, to go through and just talk about how we are changing the behaviors of our satellite in orbit, and then you guys get to also see it on the screen. So right now, um, I actually started off with my satellite in low Earth orbit. So it's things like the ISS that are orbiting around the Earth at like, one orbit is what, 90 minutes? So when you look up at the sky, you can pretty much catch it fairly regularly. Um, and then you can go into like higher orbits. So let me just zoom out so you guys can see this more. And then go out and just give yourselves massive orbits, basically all the way out to geo. So this break that you're seeing actually over here, my scenario is one day long. And when a satellite is in geo orbit, it has like a fixed position over the surface of the Earth. And then the speed that it rotates is the same as the period of a day. So when it's breaking, it just means that this period is longer than a one day. So you can drag it back to get it like close enough to geo. All right, that's playing around with the semi-major axis. And playing around with this tool, you can set it to whatever value you want. Next, let's take a look at the eccentricity. So eccentricity is going to be how circular your satellite is in its orbit. So right now, if you look at this from overhead, which might be like the best way to view this, so maybe I'll do like orange from top or something, my orbit's fairly circular. To make it eccentric, I'm just going to give it some, essentially just making it elliptical. And if I'm actually viewing this from the side, you get to see the wonderful hula hooping orbit. Woo! <laughs> Even going through the Earth too. All right, so you can set that to whatever variable you want. So ever so slightly eccentric. Next, I have the inclination. So inclination is going to be how, if you like imagine a plane, like how inclined the orbit is. But why am I doing that with my hands? I'm going to show you on the screen. So I'm going to use this drag wheel. And I'm going to actually rotate this around so maybe it can show it to you to the side. And I'm just going to be flipping or just flipping through these values and just flipping my satellite and its eccentric eccentricity over. So going from like 0 to 180. So polar orbits are when you are at roughly, or yeah, at like around 90 degrees. And those are orbits that are going to go around the poles. Next, we have the argument of perigee. So I'm going to use that drag wheel. And actually, this is even more fun dancing. So argument of perigee. And then if you want to go back to our slides, so argument of perigee is just describing the orientation of the satellite in its orbit in space. You can play around with these values 
over here. That's probably more accurate hula hooping, actually. All right, ran is going to be your right ascension of ascending node. So rather than like how I've been moving the orbit this way, essentially it depends on when your satellite is in orbit too, so it does depend on the epoch, and you're essentially going to be, I guess, like rotating it around the Earth. So playing around with the ran. All right, finally, we have True Anomaly, which is going to be where your satellite is in its orbit. So I'm going to drag this over. So I'm not changing the orbit at all, but I'm just changing the satellite's position in its orbit. So now I am animating my scenario and seeing it as it orbits over the Earth. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this topic and learned a lot about SDK and orbits.